Recent studies show that even the heavy steel body of a car could be made with biomaterials derived from wood. How on earth is this possible? Well, to understand just how, we need to look at what trees are actually made of. Principally, they are composed of three polymeric carbohydrates, cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Traditionally, the pulp industry has been focused on getting rid of the smelly yellow lignin to create quality paper. And the lignin has been used as a low-grade energy source for the pulp mill. But now, lignin, nature's own glue, might just rise above all expectations. Lignin is a luonnon polymer, and luonnon polymer gives it a stable and stable 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 Eli se tietyllä tavalla niin sitoo ne hemisellun ja sellun ja, ja sellun yhteen ja, ja, ja pitää koossa sen. Puu ei pysyisi pystyssä, jos se siinä olisi lignin. Lignin has been and still is a great challenge for chemists. It has a very complex cross-linked molecular structure and is extremely difficult to control. Nevertheless, it bears a huge hidden potential. One of the most remarkable applications for lignin has recently been developed at the Oak Ridge Laboratories in the US and Inventia in Sweden. This research shows that lignin could substitute for fossil raw material in carbon fiber. Until now, carbon fiber has been too expensive for widespread use in the auto industry. But if lignin-based carbon fiber becomes available, it could completely shake up the industry and lead to remarkable cuts in CO2 emissions syntyisi tällainen positiivinen kierre, että jos auton korja pystytään keventämään, niin sitä kautta auton alustaa, jousitusta voidaan keventää. Ja sitten taas riittää pienempi moottori, jolloin taas auto kevenee, riittää pienempi polttoainesäiliö. Ja kaikki tämä niin johtaa siihen, että se auto, auton niin kuin polttoaineen kulutus CO2-päästö laskee. Te finns detaljer, man kan ersätta stål med en, med en tunn plåt av aluminium så belägger man då på ena sidan det hela med kolfiber och en polymer. Och då har vi en komposit som är, väger en fjärdedel mot stål men är lika stark. Och då kan man tänka sig potentialen i alla möjliga applikationer här under utveckling nu. Så det är inte bara bilar det handlar om utan det är alla möjliga konstruktioner där man vill ha läckt, vikt och styrka. However, the technology to create this new carbon fiber is useless if the raw material has already been completely burnt in the pulp mills. Luckily, the Finnish engineering company Valmet has a solution at hand, a method for extracting the lignin in a very pure and usable form. The so-called LignoBoost technology was originally created at Inventia. After a successful pilot at Domtar in the US, Stora Enso has recently opened the world's largest lignin production unit in Sunila, Finland. The anläggning we now have in drift in Sunila, where we produce sulfate lignin, it becomes a very clean lignin, reactive, and we look at different applications of the area to replace fossil fuels, such as limmer, which go to plywood, in laminate, which go to the mobile industry. Och i framtiden att även kunna modifiera ligninet, att ändra ligninet, att designa ligninet och möta krav som finns i olika produkter. Att även kunna göra i framtiden kolfiber av lignin. <skratt>